Hey everybody, it's BC here. Welcome to another episode of Satisfactory. And I've been a little bit busy. I uh, paved all the way to the other end there. And I was having a look about which way I'm going to go. And I think I am going to go this way. We've got a lot of room here we can work out, work on eventually once we get past this little area here. Paved whole area. Just cover it. Create a giant roof over top. Little openings where we can have... Uh, Parts coming up, we'll probably end up using the conveyor lifts when the time comes. Uh, but I, like I said, I have been busy. I put a container up here to bring the limestone up just so I can get to it a little bit easier. Or, uh, sorry, concrete because it is going through a crafter. Uh, I realized I probably should have got something set up for screws, but uh, I'm not too worried about it because we're going to be moving stuff because I should have a fair amount of plates here. So uh, now I got to do a little bit of organization here. I got to move a few things around. I probably should have done this before I started recording, but when am I ever prepared, right? Uh, so yeah, I got some iron here. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get all this stuff out of the way and then we'll start laying down some conveyors. Okay, now I'm ready. So I t got everything taken out. It's just down to the containers of the, the lines coming in. I put the conveyor out this one for some reason. Uh, the only thing that's still going is the concrete. Because we're going to need a lot of it. And I do have a lot of plates in that kitchen there, about a thousand of them, so we should be good to go. So now, because uh, like I said, I want to capture these ones eventually, so we're going to have a uh, place for the smelters for those ones so I think I'm going to start here and I'm going to figure out how many I need I need one four seven eventually ten twenty hundred million whatever but we'll just start with uh I'll go with eight for now so I'll put one there uh, I know it should be in center, center of the tile but actually yeah, let's do that because everything else will line up with it. Uh, I'm not putting a container here because there's going to be a container over it. Uh, at this end of the miner. Okay, there. And there. I wish it was a, like an actual snapping option. Sort of like centered, for instance. That's just me, though. And that's also me placing in the wrong spot. All right, another one there, and uh, another one there, and another one there. And surprisingly, these things are extremely cheap. Okay, uh, can I get this? Yes. Clean up the floor a little bit. Can't do much about that. Uh, that was something they're talking about too. Eventually, is uh, possibly. Uh, uh, terrain deformation, you know, voxel destruction sort of deal. Okay, conveyor time. Oh, I'm gonna need a lot more plates. It's okay, I have a lot of them here. Uh, let's put that away, that away, that away, that away. And we'll take all that. Sure. Okay, conveyors. So, oh jeez, <laughs> that shadow scared me. I thought something blew up. I don't know why something would have blown up, but I thought I did. Missing concrete. Hmm. Where will I find concrete? I'm sorry if I've used that joke about a million times. I don't have inventory space, damn you. Hmm. Gotta get those inventory slot upgrades so I can put more stuff in my inventory and complain about not having inventory space. Okay, let's do this again. Uh, there was probably concrete in there if I didn't even notice it. That's fine. Okay, uh, what was I doing? Conveyors. Okay, not you. Uh, you. Okay, so you are going to be going into this one here. Come on, I actually saw it line up. Oh, because it's too far away, I guess. Alright. Go straight in. We're going to have this, but as... I don't know, symmetrical. Well, I, have, I don't know if you'd say symmetrical, but... You know what I mean. 
So I'm gonna get the conveyor set up. I'm gonna try to have everything uh, like all space on tile and all stuff, and I'll bring it back. Okay, I'm back. So I ended up hooking up the other two miners. So all we gotta do now is get another power pole. We got two on there already, so we can actually hook these both up. Invalid aim location. What do you mean? Can I not reach it? Not from there, anyways. Okay. And then we do this. And we'll take the escalator back up. And up we go. Okay. And now we can kill the power system. I did make some more biomass. I uh, got those filled up. So that is that. So that is the carpet going to the smelter. Now I go ahead and get the next one going. So this one, uh, I want to try to sort of keep them like on a grid, sort of. So I keep everything straight, but have them spaced out. Uh, unlike me, we won't talk about that. Uh, so basically, <laughs> I'm gonna go. With, uh, the center, oh no, not the center of that. Yeah, okay, on the center of that one. And then. Could go that way. And then this line is going to go into the third smelter. That one is going to go into the fourth smelter. That one. Uh, and then fifth and sixth and the ones around. I'm looking at now we might have to have uh, another row of smelters behind there when we get to that point. So let me do this and I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Now isn't that satisfying? It is. And then we start getting other lines coming in. We'll either have them doubled up on top or going in between. Uh, I still have these two nodes here to capture. I'm trying to realize I'm not going to have room uh, with our current setup. But we'll figure something out with that. Uh, so now I did make enough to get uh, some more constructors going. I made some more reinforced plates. So that's what we're going to do down at this end. Now I'm hoping I left enough room right here. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, so same thing. It's going to be storages. And I think just because I'm actually going to leave the room just so we can actually can see the conveyors in action. Okay, there. And there. That did line up, did it not? Yes, it did. Okay, good. I know I should just paint it to the green arrows, but I never, or green lines, but I never do. Okay, and that one. This one's not connected as of yet. Alright, constructor time. I need more cable. Uh, give me a moment. Okay, I'm back. I did a scan for some more copper. There's another one over that way, 600 meters. I don't know if that's one I grabbed, but there's one this way, not too far. Uh, so uh, we may end. I I may end up getting another setup for that. But for the time being, uh, we'll go over here. We'll get some more constructors set down. I should have enough for them. And then same thing, one tile apart. Uh, like so and we just place a whole bunch of them perfect more storages and then we're, we're good to go just need more conveyors lots and lots of conveyors and I'm sure I've got Tons of space. Oh, yeah. Okay. So let me get the conveyors set up. We'll probably have to get like biomass burner or two going, but we'll get into that pretty quick. So I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. And it just occurred to me too, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to change a few of these over. So let's actually get everything configured before we start running juice through the whole system. Okay. You are going to be copper, right? Yes, and the rest are going to be iron. Iron, uh, iron, uh, iron, 
and iron because that's what's coming into it all right so it's going to go into here so this end here we're going to get set up with uh wire now i'm thinking this actually might be good because of where i've got this placed uh <laughs> except for the fact I've got these in the spot I can't actually get over them because they've changed them on all the arms and you can't actually squeeze between them now because I got them right next to each other but I do have the room I could probably split this off yeah let's, let's do that I think I actually have enough to make well I can always I can always make re more reinforced plates if I need to but I'm thinking, uh, come out of here and go through a conveyor splitter, if I have them yet. No, I don't. That's, I think, what this was all about. Well, I guess I would have to complete a biofilm, and I'll be right back. Okay, I was actually wrong about I was researching it was going to be field research. Uh, well, not research, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we do that. Did control click actually work? I have no idea. No, it doesn't. Does shift click only work? It, control click only works with storages. Alright, so that'll get me conveyor junction or conveyor splitters and mergers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's what I was originally going for because of the inventory spot, slots and the object scanner and man, but. It's not that big of an issue at the moment, but uh, this might come in handy just for, oh, for whatchamacallit there. Well, I got five minutes to ramble on here while I come up with the, come up with the word for the, the biomass for the fuel until we get into coal anyways, but coal means we're going to have to start getting into water. Uh, definitely like how they changed all the models. And so on and so forth, then we gotta start getting to the space elevator, and we'll figure that one out eventually. Uh, but anyways, uh, what should we go for? Let's uh, select the milestone here. I could actually whip this off. Uh, yeah, let me do this one quickly. Okay, so are we are ready for field research. So we'll do this. And yeah. So now, uh, oh yeah, ma'am. We'll get ma'am up and going. So all we got is tier two right now. Uh, resource sink. Uh, no, not yet. Uh, what was gonna be the probably the next one to do is probably probably assembler. I think we're gonna get the tubes at a fairly early tier two. I think we get them in. As soon as we get the space elevator built, I'm not 100 percent sure. Uh, ooh, ooh. I'll choose that one because we're gonna get stuff going here right now. Actually, hop up here. You know, I made sure we got fuel and the and everything. And what was I doing? Oh yeah, we uh, place a conveyor splitter. No, I am not. Actually, maybe. See if, I, see if I got any iron plates in here. Uh, no. Give me a moment. Okay. Now, slight change in plans. I, uh, forgot I gotta extend a few of these with, uh, some more constructors. Thankfully, I got the room. Thank you to, uh, floating foundations. Well, technically they're anchored to the cliff side, but I don't care how strong I'm at building material, nothing's going to support this kind of weight. Alright, so, uh, let's see, that is going to come out of the, it's coming out of here. So, yeah, then I'll put a splitter here. Do a conveyor splitter, we're going to do it. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to do it right in the center. That is the center, is it? Uh, yep. Make sure I got it facing the right way. 
it's always important thing and uh, hit the wrong buttons like I always do you know it wouldn't be me if I hit the right button right wrong button BC they used to call me back in the day ante and for the rest of my life anyway okay so we're gonna do that uh, actually no we're not gonna do that are we I'm trying to think now because uh, basically, I want all the any containers to be in the same spot. Cause I gotta have another constructor in here, and then another container after that. So maybe take that out, go into production, the constructor, and do that doesn't look even but it is apparently and more two more containers which are on my hotbar uh, of course you know hot bars are great but uh, only when you remember you actually have things on there and there and like so oh I put the container on the wrong side didn't I no I didn't yes I did this container is going to be over here. And in the center, like that, which means I got to move those containers. So uh, let me do that, and then, then I'll bring you back. Okay, I am pretty much done here. Uh, actually, I just <laughs> remember I got to add another crap constructor because uh, this is just making the cables for me. Uh, I need another one to make screws and plates apparently okay I'm back so what I'm going to do is uh, the first one's going to be plates the second one is going to be probably plates because we're going to need a lot of plates uh, third one here is going to be for rods and the next one is going to be for um, screws so from here I'm go ahead and place another constructor down and the constructor turns rods into screws. Pretty straightforward. Uh, like so. And like that. And like that. Now everything should be connected except for these ones because I ran out of plates again. And I had to go make more again. Uh, like I said, plates. <laughs> so many plates. Alright, so we should be good to go. Get it all fired up, and I'll probably have to build another biomass generator. I'm gonna say we will. In fact, let's get it. Let's uh, get a head start on that and do that right now. Let's see, what do we need? Do I have enough? I probably do. No, I don't. I was gonna make more wire. That's fine. I got a crafting bench right here. Go ahead and uh, make uh, some more wire. I think I need a 20. Okay, and biomass burner. Nope, 25. I know how to read, I swear. Okay. And yes, I know I still gotta get everything all set up, but we're gonna make sure we can actually power everything first. And. Just like so. Uh, power, cable, uh, no room, so we're gonna have to go here and uh, like this. Oh, never mind, it's already connected. Okay, do I have biofuel on me? No, I do not. How's the grid doing? <laughs> not gonna be doing too good pretty soon. I guarantee that. I have biomass in here. No, I don't. Do I have biomass in here? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, I'll have to make some, I guess, by the looks of it. Anyway, uh, let's see if she can hold up. So we'll go run down here. We'll take, uh, we'll take you. We'll put, uh, we'll do anything. I gotta make more wire. I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I'll just make a whole bunch more biomass, because, uh, I'm gonna need it. Definitely gonna need it. Gotta make sure that one's up and running. Top that up. Top 
that up, and I think I got that one topped up. Yes, I do. Alright. Let's go cripple the power system, shall we? That is still connected. Good. Alright, now it's a matter of how many of these things I actually need. So, I'm going to do... I'm going to do one here. And we'll do one over here. Let's see if we can actually get the line up. Oh, what, we don't get the low green arrows? Green lines? Okay, and then we go over here. Uh, actually, no, we'll connect you to there. You to there. And then you to... There, there, and that one's full, so I'm going to have to do another one here, I think. Uh, no, I can do that. Okay, and then we'll take this one, we'll bring it, uh, we'll have to go, uh, I think we'll have to do that. Uh, oh, time to get up all the containers. Okay, and then that one can go there. Uh, connect you to there, you to there. And there, and there, and... Uh, hmm. So I might need another one over there, too. Uh, I'll just have to do that. Okay. Next. And we're not even using power yet because I haven't configured anything yet. Oh, that's being configured. Uh, let's see here. Okay, we are going over here. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, those are red because they're not actually configured for anything yet. And that should be it. Okay. So, let's check the smelters. The smelters are running. No, they're not. You are not running. Now you are. Okay. So, now we go over to here. We'll go to the other side, because I have to go come on this side anyways to get through. Start at this end. All the way down here. Okay. So, plates... Plates, rod, rod, and can you guess? Can anybody guess? Screws. Yes, screws. Who would have thought, huh? And then all I gotta do is set you two cables, and we are good to go. So everything is running, so let's, uh, See how the power's holding. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. That is good, so that means that we are producing all of the common stuff right now. Let's go up here and have a, a little peek at our little operation. Yes, I did do some more biomass clearing, but I'm going to have to do a lot more. Uh, I'll come and get him later. It is very satisfying, isn't it? Yes, we we'll pulled that joke the whole se whole series, so get used to it. But uh, I think I might actually start coloring stuff this time. Like maybe have each line its own color, like uh, the copper copper color, the old cables maybe like a black, and then silver for the plates, gray for the rods, and maybe blue for the screws, just because they're they're blue, right? But we'll see how it goes. I haven't actually used the color gun yet, so we'll figure that one out. But I think it's a good place to call it. I thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.